Hi, I'm Andrew Comstock. I'm a product manager at Informatica, and this is Tiffany. Tiffany's a sales analyst, and she's been working with Informatica for the last few months on one of our exciting new products, Project Springbok. She came to us with a problem. Her entire executive team loved using Tableau for its dashboards, and she and her colleagues loved preparing information in their easy-to-use visualization tools. But she found a lot of the time, she was spending an inordinate amount of time preparing in data in tools like Excel to get it in shape, to quality and standards, to make it really useful in Tableau. This is her story in my words. So one of the problems that Tiffany ran into was working with data outside the normal scope of the things they collect. So for example, some of the regional sales managers had come to her and said, we've been doing really well. We've noticed an, a big influx of female customers. And they were interested to know if this was a trend or if this was just selection bias. So what she set out to do, they drill down to a county level and look at the population demographics at different counties and where they had stores to figure out if there was actually a correlation between something like the percentage of population that's female and how well the store is doing. The challenge with this is that sometimes you end up with a file like something you see in front of you, where I've got population statistics, but they're already been separated out. So I've got different age ranges and different types of cuts in this data. So this is going to work for what Tiffany was trying to do. So at first, we got to immediately change the unit of measure for this data. Because she was looking for a total population, she immediately had to aggregate this data together. So what she did is she quickly aggregated this based on the county. And what this is going to let her do is really work with this data in exactly the way she wanted. So she didn't have to create array formulas or create a pivot table that might update uh, on the fly. She used Springbok to simply add a total population count for each county, as well as the total count of the female population by county. And once she had that, once she had that, this generated a new data set for her that was going to really let her drill into exactly the type of statistics that she was looking for. So in this regard, I can then insert a quick function to calculate the total percentage of the population that's female. So here I can divide the female population by the total population to get that percentage. I'll just name that column percentage. So that was half the battle. But now she needs to bring in her sales data. In Excel, she was writing VLOOKUPs and having to constantly check what she was working on. With Springbok, she just simply asked the two data sets to be combined, and Springbok automatically profiled and characterized all the data in both sheets to figure out the best way to combine the two together. It automatically detected which columns were the most similar between the two data sets. She then has to combine. From there, it simply became an exercise of exporting this as into a Tableau data extract. And this allows her to immediately open this data up in Tableau. From there, it actually became a really easy method for simply looking at the percentage, and that's the percentage of the population that was female, versus our total revenues. And because we want to see if there's any correlation between the two, we can quickly generate a scatter plot. And we can see that there's a rough correlation here. So this might be something that will help them drive future strategy, where they should invest, where they should spend their time. Might help them also figure out where they open new stores. So hopefully this showed you a little bit about how Springbok can make working with Tableau even easier. If you're interested in learning more, come visit us at www.springbok.is. Register for free and start exploring for yourself. You can also come visit us at the Tableau User Conference between September 8th and September 12th.